In the ancient land of Arcanum, nestled between rugged mountains and dense forests, there existed a village, oft shrouded in mystery and whispers. The village folk spoke of a mystic presence, an evil that slumbered beneath the soil, an unseen terror lurking amidst their midst. In this small, cold village, there lived a recluse named Mortimer. His eyes, deep set and hollow, spoke of a soul touched by darkness. His mane, unkempt and graying, gave him an aura of both wisdom and sorrow. Few dared to approach him, save for Alara, a young woman with fire in her eyes and unyielding curiosity in her heart. Alara had been drawn to Mortimer ever since she was a little girl, her fascination with the archaic tales far outweighing her trepidation. Mortimer, sensing a kindred spirit, shared with her the grim legends of Arcanum. He spoke of the ancient tomb, buried beneath the village, where an immortal vampire, Lord Draven, lay in restless slumber. His stories were vivid and filled with eerie details, how Draven, a sorcerer dabbling in black magic, had traded his mortal soul for eternal life, thus becoming a creature of the night. Yet, with immortality came the curse of eternal thirst and a heart blackened by a desire for immense power. Alara, emboldened by these terrifying tales, sought the truth behind the legend. One cold and moonless night, guided by Mortimer's ancient maps and cryptic warnings, she ventured into the heart of the forest. The air grew colder, the shadows lengthened, and an uncanny silence gripped her path. Upon reaching a decrepit crypt adorned with ghastly runes, Alara felt the chill of dread. She descended into the darkness, her heart pounding. Inside, she found a grand chamber, its walls inscribed with spells and symbols of black magic. In the center lay an ancient coffin sealed with iron chains. Unable to resist the compulsion, Alara recited the incantations from Mortimer's maps. The chain snapped, the coffin creaked open, and a malevolent force surged from within. Lord Draven awakened. His eyes shone with an unholy light. His presence exuded a dreadful aura. Yet he found himself bounded by Mortimer's ancient enchantments, unable to harm Alara unless she invited it. What dare awakens me? Draven's voice was both melodic and chilling. Alara, trembling yet resolute, confronted him. I seek the truth of your legend. A sinister smile played upon Draven's lips. He offered her a dark bargain, power and knowledge in exchange for her soul. Mortimer had warned her of this. Black magic always demanded the purest essence. Enraged by her hesitance, Draven sought to break free, unleashing a terrifying gale of souls he had consumed over millennia. It was then that Mortimer, sensing Alara's peril, appeared in the chamber. With a tome bound in archaic runes, he began to chant incantations. A battle of eldritch energies ensued, the air thickening with screams of spirits and the stench of dark magic. Mortimer, though immensely powerful, was weakened by age and the heavy toll of old enchantments. Summoning every last ounce of his vitality, he enclosed Draven in a sphere of ancient magic, trapping him once more. Leave this place, Mortimer rasped, his body withering. The price of curiosity is a burden too dark to bear. As Draven's screams echoed in the chamber, fading into a chilling silence, Elara fled back to the village. The once vibrant girl now carried the weight of untold horrors. Mortimer's sacrifice had saved her, but at the expense of his own life force. The villagers, having sensed the disturbance, gathered around her as she returned.